and thanks for joining us again today at Freedom Forest on another cold but bright January day. This bed here is where we've been growing ochre for a few years now and today I'm going to go through have a little bit of a tidy up and a harvest and I'm going to show you what we get. I do have a few concerns about what might be going on in this bed here because for a few weeks now, whenever I've walked past this bed, I've been noticing that some of the ochre are being kicked out and are actually on the surface of the bed, maybe by birds or maybe by mice. So it's gonna be interesting to see what's actually left in here. Ochre is another one of our favorite perennial tubers. It was originally cultivated in the Southern and Central Andes, like so many of our other favorites. Now it's grown commercially in New Zealand and is often known as the New Zealand yam. Stay tuned until the end of the video to hear some more fun facts about ochre. We should have both red and yellow ochre in this bed, so I'm going to get harvested now and see what we can find. And all of this here is just the dyed back foliage from the plant that just a few months ago was all lovely and green and lush and has these tiny little flowers all over it late in the season. So I'm just finding the odd one dotted around at the moment, nothing substantial few more here and this soil like most of our other beds has started off with compost layers and then has had a good mulch of wood chip on top and as you can see the soil is just so beautiful and rich now and really easy to move around so all the bigger ones seem to be actually on the surface And this is green alkanet here, which is just self-seeded. So I'm going to pull some of these out as I'm harvesting um, just to stop them from taking over this bed entirely. But I'm finding lots of little, lots of little mice holes tunneled all around which makes me think a lot of them may well have been eaten by our little furry friends Let's lift this alkanet out oh, you walk around the roots here oh hi Murph <laughs> hi boy <laughs> good to see you dad Where's your dad? Muffs come out to play. There's just hundreds of these tiny little ones scattered all over the surface as you just move the soil around. So at least a lot of these will be left in as replant perennials. So they seem to be growing on this bed just under the surface as well. So if I just sort of wiggle the soil around a little bit this seems to be where I'm finding them the most instead of um, digging down deeper so that's good because I don't really like to disturb the soil as much as I just have been um, but I just wanted to check and see where I was finding them. Yellow one that one back in it's got a little bit of a mark on it so again we just usually replant a few of these as we go and that's how we've kept our supplies going for the last few years and these other vines that you might notice trailing down the bank are actually from mashua which we've got planted along the top here leave us a comment and let us know what your favorite tubers are too
haven't eaten okra before, they've got a slight potatoey texture when they're cooked, but a slightly unusual hint of lemon to the flavour as well. But they're really nice, really nice. We really enjoy them. I would say I prefer them overall to the taste of the mashua. Um, but the texture is, again, slightly different to the mashua. And probably my favourite way to eat okra is to roast them off with your roast potatoes or your roast dinner with just a little bit of oil on them and they come up really lovely. Um, but other ways I use them is just throwing them in curries or in vegetable stews in the slow cooker. Um, you can use them any way that you'd use potatoes really. Oh, and speaking of potatoes, pop that one back in, keep the diversity in the beds. So as always here, the easiest method of harvesting seems to be with my hands. And you may notice that whilst I'm going through and harvesting these, every now and then I'm just pushing the odd one back down into the soil. And that's how we just replant them um, as we go for next year's harvest. That's probably enough ochre harvested for us today. I've probably harvested about a third of this bed space. Um, it's not a great harvest, but it's also not bad for a crop that we don't really put any effort in at all to grow. And I can just come back another day and grab some more. So now let's have some fun facts about our ochre. This highly nutritious root is high in vitamin K and vitamin C. Just 100 grams of ochre gives you 60% of your recommended daily allowance of vitamin C. It's said that ochre contains a type of indigestible fibre and this fibre helps to clear out bad cholesterol and unclog our arteries, which helps improve the function of our heart and overall blood flow. Wow! I'm just going to smooth over the soil where I've been harvesting today and then pull back over the plant material to protect the soil surface. And then I'll just come back and harvest some more another day. I hope you've enjoyed coming along and seeing some of our ochre harvest today. If you have, please click that like button just below the video. Leave us any comments or questions that you have. We love hearing from you. Please click the bell button so you get notified every time we release a new video. And we'll see you here again soon. Thanks for watching. Peace and plants.